Okay, we're probably like five minutes into the FE exam. Passed the first question like it was nothing, but now we're running into some goddamn trouble with our with our calculus, single variable calculus to be exact, um, which is actually pretty uh, daunting at first. But let's go, let's draw this picture like we were Picasso, and I mean that wholeheartedly because I can't draw pictures. Um, so let's define our y and x axis. Of course, it's going to be a right-handed coordinate system. You've been doing engineering for four years. You still don't know what the right-hand rule is? Come on. All right, so we got the y equals 1. We're going to call this one right here. And then we got this weird equation. Um, we got this weird equation, x equals y to the 3 halves. Are you kidding me? I don't know what that means. Um, I'm going to solve this in terms of y, uh, or explicitly in terms of of x, but it's going to be a function of y with respect to x. So that's what I'm trying to do, that, correct? So you do y equals, uh, you square it, then do the cube root, which is going to be x to the two-thirds. Um, and then we just solve the equation. So x equals 0, uh, that's going to be 0, that's going to be this point right here. When x, uh, when y equals 1, what is x? Uh, let's see, y equals 1, it's going to be 1, right? So it's going to be over here somewhere. Uh, so it's going to be like a square, and then it's going to look like a parabola, because that's that's how we know it, how it looks like. Um, and what is the area between the bounded y equals 1 and the y-axis? Yeah, so we're looking at this region right here. That's what we're trying to find. Pretty straightforward. So what we want to do is do uh, two integrals. So we're going to uh, do the area of the rectangle. I'm going to do it in a fancy notation, because I know what I'm talking about. Uh, we're going to do 0 to 1 of y equals 1 of dx. It's just a square. Uh, so it's going to be equal to 1, of course. Uh, but now we have this issue. So we're going to take that line integral, uh, actually minus. We're going to do a minus here. We're going to minus the area underneath this curve. So we're going to do the integral from uh, 0 to 1 of uh, this equation, which is x to 2 thirds uh, dx. And we solve that one real quick. So 1 minus, and we're going to do the integral rule, which is uh, add 1, divide by the new exponent or whatever. Uh, so we're going to add 1 to that. It's going to be 5 thirds. Divide by that. That's going to be 3 fifths. If I know what I'm talking about. So then you do x to the 5 thirds. This is evaluated from 0 to 1. That's obviously 1 minus 3 fifths. Come on. Get out of here. So we got 5 over 5. It's going to equal the area of this goddamn curve right here is going to equal 2 fifths. Let me tell you. Prove me wrong. And if I am wrong, well, I'm sorry. You just wasted five minutes watching this video.